Hi guys, welcome to part 9 of my 2024 Christmas Village full tutorial series. There is a lot of stairs to get access to the ballroom palace or plaza, but you certainly don't want people to get there tired or sweated. <laughs> what a smell for the entire evening. So I will try to add roads or ramps or slope if you prefer to get up there with carriages or winter sleigh. I will try because I still don't know if the technique I will use is visually effective. Then I finally received some of the materials I was waiting so I can go a little further with Rebecca's house, the tree and the fences especially. Unfortunately, I'm still waiting for one important thing, the micro LED, that, the tiny, the invisible LED that will help me build her walking stick, her glowing walking stick or glowing stuff. More than 10 days to receive those LEDs from Germany. Come on, I'm in dispute right now with the seller. But I will also uh, start the third themed section. I know, I just have one themed section. Why jump to the third one? Because the second one is very long to complete. So why don't start it right now? I will also do that, but I will first start the third themed section. And you will guess in just I think 40 seconds or <laughs> the uh, what it will be about sorry for that but you will not guess the final result I am sure of that so a leap back I will also start the second team at section some with some crazy experiment once again and then, and then, I don't know if I will have time to get something more, to add something more, but uh, let's start working, enough talking. Change of plans, guys. I am starting with the, the first step of the long, long second team section. It will be a long, 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 long section to finish. And I will start with a crazy experiment that will involve some magnets. Here I have some neodymium magnets. It will also involve one acid. And what is the common acid you find in every kitchen? It is vinegar. This is acetic acid. Then I will also use some other common product you find in any kitchen. You, I will use some salt and this is not fine salt, it is the salt you use especially in Europe for uh, fish, for cooking fish you envelop the fish uh, under the salt and you cook it in the oven or you can also use it for making pasta is not the uh, salt you use to put on some salad or anything else it is uh, big grain salt then i will also use some hydrogen peroxide okay hydrogen peroxide Aqua oxygenata, uh, oxygenate water in Italy. In Italy, it is a common uh, H2O2. Normally, water is H2O. This is H2O2. It is a water with an extra addition of oxygen. Why all this? Because I need to perform some deep oxidation on some metals 
I could fake it using some product that I find on every hardware store. But instead, I'm going to use this technique that is a common technique. Uh, salty water near the beach cause oxidation, cause the appearance of rust, R-U-S-T, rust, R-U-S-T, on metal. Not every kind of metal, uh, iron based metal. You can't get rust on some aluminum or on some copper or on some uh, other uh, metals or um, alliages. So it is water or oxidation of the air. If you get humidity from the air in contact with some metal that is uh, iron based air plus humidity get oxidation it is long so that's why I'm forcing the oxidation with uh, some uh, per mm, hydrogen peroxide because there is very high amount of oxygen in this water and the acid is used initially to attack the metal to attack the surface of the metal and then favorize the action of the water and the salt together. Maybe it's enough the uh, hydrogen peroxide but I want to force the process. You will not be able to see the result right now in this part 9 simply because it is a long process. Starting of which I will use some metallic parts that I'm not sure they are completely uh, iron based. That's why I'm using some magnets to test if they have some good component of, uh, of iron inside. Uh, this one I think, yes, oh, these are parts that comes from uh, an old alarm clock, not a digital but a pure metal. You know that inside clocks you can get enough of uh, iron based cocks or uh, anything like that simply because uh, magnetic magnets tend to make the clock, the watch go uh, under hour or, or too, too slow or too quick. So, but some components you find inside some alarm clock, old fashioned alarm clock, it is uh, iron based. Let's check. Yes, this one it is and you can see um, this was the bell on top of, those are, were the two bells on top of the uh, alarm clock and uh, it is uh, an old alarm clock and uh, some rust has already caused some damages on it and I will use some very damaged pieces of iron based metals. Then I have the spring. Let's check the spring. Yes, let's use also the spring because I don't know if I will use uh, the entire spring. I have another spring there. This too is iron based. Then I have some charging the keys there for charging the, the spring that are inside the alarm clock. Even those two are iron based. I have some other, yes, this one too, this one too. I get everything there, but I don't know if I will be using everything. Then what else I have? I have this one two is iron based this one too um, the, oh yes this one i think it is yes a mechanism then i will switch to the other it, those are some uh, some cogs and etc these two and those are new this is this has a, a high amount of iron a very high amount but they are new they are not they have not been touched by any oxidation or other uh, atmospheric agents uh, 
and so that's why I'm using some vinegar, some acid to get starting the process of corroding the metal there. Okay, so I will use this one too, and I will not keep them forever in then. Okay, this one too, this one too, some other type of. Yes, 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 okay. Uh, those one, I think they are all uh, iron based. Then I will keep, I will take the acid and I will go and get everything started in the bath. Maybe I don't have enough of it and I will get some other uh, vinegar so a little more acid there okay like that then 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 let me move around this is not dangerous if we eat vinegar in our salad we use vinegar in our salad it's not dangerous, so I could use my bare hands there. But I am just... <coughs> the fumes are starting to get there. And for now, I leave that in this uh, acid bath for at least some hours before I will switch to a bath of uh, hydrogen peroxide and salt. It is really the salt that will initialize the oxidation with the, uh, with the peroxide, with the help of uh, the peroxide and on the surface uh, you will get uh, some uh, rust. For now on uh, I will put these uh, outside because the fumes are not that dangerous but I prefer to keep these outside and then I will get an update. Surely I will have an update for you and you see the uh, little uh, crystal, the little uh, salt crystal I have added are starting uh, to bubbling because it is the salt that is initializing the oxidation with the acid and the bubbling is there. So I will also add some... This is chemistry guys, a pure 101 chemistry, the one you hated uh, in high school, I, I suppose. But the bubbling is a symptom that uh, the salt is... Uh, making with the help of acid is uh, uh, his job but uh, the real reaction you will get the real reaction with the per, uh, hydrogen uh, peroxide now let's start the zert or zert timid section you will figure out in a couple of minutes I think what it will be about but I think it will be hard to discover to guess the final outcome of this uh, timid section it will be one of the timid section I, I decided sorry to modify and not to get a square or uh, rectangular uh, section apart, integrated, but it will be part of the layout, uh, like a point of the layout where you see something that it is not supposed to be like that, but it is integrated in everything. For example, the first image section, the Alice in Wonderland band, rock band, it is understandable that it is a squared section apart, put somewhere uh, in a specific point of the layout. This 
third team at section will be part of the entire layout. But let's continue. This will be my starting point, okay, this one here, uh, to which I will add this piece here that will get inside I think, I hope. Woke up done, can you carry me? When I'm losing my mind, can you hold me? If I'm hazy, boo, can you help me? When I'm running low, can you charge me? When I'm running low If it's love or talking, you ain't really frying We do the walk and talk the talk but drop it you pull me back, you left me there, I'm falling Stop, the hell are you going? I'ma hold me up, I'll get myself together Who would have thought without you I'd be better? Brace yourself, I'm ready for another I said it once before Without you, I'm so right, so right Love or talking, you ain't really frying. We do the walk and talk the talk, but drop it. You pull me back, you left me there, I'm falling. Stop, the hell are you going? I'ma hold me up, I'll get myself together. Who would have thought without you, I'd be better? Brace yourself, I'm ready for another. I said it once before.
Voila, but you are right, it is missing a piece in plain middle. And I avoid until now to place it because it will be so revealing. Okay, guys, at least I think. So I will add some music. And I will add the cabin, the center section, right there. They used to stick around, definitely not for too long. But boy, you got me hooked and made me want to write this song. Not all guys are the same, apparently I was wrong. Let me take you somewhere where we could be alone. You know how people say it caught me unexpected. Well, I really wasn't prepared for all of this love and affection. Normally I would be scared, but I'm aware that you're special. So let me take you somewhere where we could be alone. Did you all see a pretty picture? You were the sun on the sky and we're so complete. Let me water you, my flower, I'll teach ya how to open up a nice baby. baby. <laughs> Good. Now I think you guess it. You guess it what it will be to whom it will be dedicated this third timid section and obviously I still need to paint and to add uh, more things to it but this absolutely will be integrated in the layout and will be the first real shocking uh, team at the section and I will not reveal anything else more than this see you for something else so guys Rebecca's tree and right now it is painted at this stage here with the three layers of different brown, some green and uh, nothing else guys. Let's add some flockage, some uh, three up there. First of all, let me try if this can work. Let's see. 
if it can work or if it is just a mess. No, I think it will be a mess, this one. Okay. So, yes, it is a mess like this. I don't think it is the ideal product. Let's take another, another way to do it. Let me protect here. No, I will go differently. I will remove the cutting mats because I will do a mess otherwise. And let's go like this. What I have in here. Here I have some cooking spices, a different color, some oregano some uh, um, some basils and other spices that have different color i don't know if i will be using some red but the leaf are almost there and i also have uh, some other flockage here but i think this too is too small and I don't know if it will be good for my tree, for Rebecca's tree. Maybe this one it is good enough, but let's go let's go let's go let's go and i will use some spray glue this comes from barcelona guys uh, spray glue it is permanent adhesive so permanent spray glue and i will start i will start little by little like this and then i will go with some foliage like this
Good guys, I think it is done like this. I will wait for it to, to dry a little more. But this is the result with the flock edge. With uh, this kind of flock edge here, like that. And uh, three different colors orange, uh, light green, and dark green. And also applied some on the on the floor, on the uh, on the floor uh, like that, and this is the result of this technique. It is messy, I know, but all these will not be wasted. I will wait for it to dry, then I will use it the next time. And I simply need oops, 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 like that. Uh, I simply need uh, the glue to to dry to to cure a little more but i don't think this is a bad result for for this tree uh, and i will add some white but i am not sure if i will add some white at some point but this is rebecca's tree good now uh, let me add some rust effect okay um yes let me add a little of rust here and there quickly not everywhere Okay guys, uh, the effect is like this, not too much rusty, but a little rusty, okay? A little uh, orange is, uh, I don't want this to be completely rusted, but this is the effect. Now, for the ivy, I have two solutions. First one is to try to use this product here that are really <laughs> good from Spain and this I think it can be used okay it, it is certainly too much like this it is too much let me try I don't know where he is. Maybe I will go. No, it needs to be done with some scissor.
okay and so this will be the effect with the ivy right now I don't know how much I will use of this but I think it can work like this okay it is a good product this one is a really good product I should order more of this because it is a really good product for simulating uh, the IV as you can uh, see very messy this part 9 of the 2024 season I just hope to have presented you with something new and interesting but let's continue it's time to reveal another house first time I went with the left side last time I went with the right side so obviously I will went once again with the left side of the layout in every village there are rich houses poor houses medium houses you can get every kind of people living in a village a village a Christmas village is not just a full of rich houses as it is common with Lemax slash Limax collections guys have you noticed that except the spooky town collection that houses are ruined the rest of the collection always good houses perfect houses rich noble houses why why I love melting pot I love every kind of houses every people need to uh, every people need to have a house I don't care if they are rich houses poor houses let's get ahead so I will present you with a modest house that is always blue roofed obviously but it is also touched roof so I made this one here guys that it is wood stone and and touched and touch and uh, touched roof but also my gold and my blue roof it is a mix it as if this house evolved during the centuries uh, going from mm, very modest house to at some point it get fortune it it has uh, it it had the possibility the family had the possibility to add a tower a squared tower uh, gothic always and uh, i can get a tour around maybe i will approach the camera here from the back the only place where I could place the plug in for the light inside because even this one had some light. So here the part, uh, the old part here, the entry part is here, the door, the entry door is here. So this is the front side. And there is even a basement because I suppose to add uh, little windows for the basement. Then I added this barrel as a way of collecting all the water coming from the roof then some squared windows or the style windows this part is like shack a little shack but always with a, a bench on the side as I have added for almost all the houses from the left side here a small bow window here a big bow window from the right side then one chimney that it is pure uh, pure uh, stone uh, then oh, oh, yes the, the touched roof that it has yellow gray some green and some white i added the same uh, colors here on the uh, on the stones with some yellowish and light uh, blue uh, gold this is another way of doing the roof somehow curved this is the old roof i have already used it this is an insert in each of the houses from one side and from the other some gold here also 
and here I have a rounded chimney uh, um, because the fireplace is rounded so even from the outside it is rounded the columns the supports for the part that is uh, that has obviously been added successively so one more room here one small room here and this red gothic uh, tower square tower there with a two way this is a small house modest but implemented during the centuries and this will be the addition for uh, also some repairs i added some uh, little piece of wood to repair uh, maybe a broken uh, a broken plank there wood plank there uh, here some copper for the um, for the pipe that transfer the water from the roof or maybe this is also the toilet the, but, but they, they, they didn't have at that time inside the house the toilet so this is for recording the uh, roof water when it is um, raining or uh, snowing or the snow is melting uh, no so no much um, not that much of white so not that much of snow on top of the uh, of the ash there because i will add uh, snow at the end as you know up to you to comment this second house from the left side uh, now it is common to call them the blue roof of the houses <laughs> okay so second one and not the last one this is the smallest one of oh, yes i can affirm that it is the smallest one and let's go and add it to the to the left side of the layout now guys the iron based elements have been there for at least five hours and the acid has started taking action on the surface of of the metal there oops oops okay i will go with my bare hands i don't care it is only vinegar and now i will move them to the other base like this the other side okay like that okay i will get the rest in some minutes i will uh, it smells like a salad right now then i will pour salt and hydrogen peroxide like this And you can see that the bubbling has already started. This is the action. Of the salt and, and the peroxide on the iron elements i think i will add some more peroxide oops 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 in the vinegar like that obviously they don't need to get to remain here for look at how it has already attacked the metal there you see it has already attacked the metal 
and also here it is starting to make the difference uh, the acid and you can see let me add some more salt like this okay and this will not need to be in uh, that bane in that uh, mix all the all the all the iron don't need to remain there for days and days it will suffice i think a couple of hours then i will remove each piece from here but i will not rinse them i will leave them to dry in plain air and the effect of the rust will be added you can see maybe here on the border of the container that the acid started uh, to make some this is, to make some attack on the metal this is not pure clear as the vinegar was when i poured it but uh, it has been necessary to encourage the, the action of the uh, on the surface of everything and you can see that everything is starting to to get damaged by 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 the solution of uh, hydrogen hydrogen peroxide and and salt okay and it is also doing some fumes but uh, it is normal like that and the color is the color of rust the typical color of rust i want you to get down there properly like oops i should have chosen a larger container my bad and this is the crazy experiment that is going on for another couple of hours I think then I will leave these the, all the metal pieces or the iron base of the pieces some days in plain air to to dry in plain air but the magic effect is starting to get where I want it to go a salt uh, no enough salt no more salt in there and let's continue with something else. We 
people got a lot to say, but the words escape. It never seems to be an easy way. No, no. I hope and pray we at least get just a one more dance. We decide to get this love a chance. Uh, Cause we got enough to try. We just need a little more time. Make sure. Just what these moments are all about. All we guaranteed is a little change. Oh, I don't want my heart to feel this way again. And I just need a little more time uh, to make sure. Now guys, a couple of hours later, uh, here I have uh, all the things, all the pieces there. I will not rinse them and I will simply let them dry like that and uh, oops. I will simply put them there and then I will wait some days Good guys, uh, I still have some small pieces that there, but this is the result and uh, I will wait for, let's say, all the week before showing you this and I will let this dry in plain air, hoping to have uh, some more days of sun. Uh, I will leave these in plain air to, to dry without uh, rinsing anything, I will not rinse anything and uh, hoping that this will be aged enough uh, by the action of the uh, hydrogen peroxide and salt together and uh, this is the result obviously where I leave some more water that will be <laughs> some more peroxide uh, that will be more uh, damaged, uh, the more damaged the parts but I will update you in, uh, in a week about this this is a long, 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 long process 
Final recap of part 9 of the 2024 season and I am starting with the roads slash slopes slash ramps that I have just finished adding and the result, the final result is this one guys up there and then going there, there and then up again here and then arriving at top level okay so the technique I have used is effective I didn't know if it was I used the same technique as uh, uh, constructor builders do in real life using steps I placed the road there and then used some skewers to add horizontal support under the road uh, like it was uh, a series of steps a stairs in real life is done at the same uh, in the same way some horizontal um, sustainers on uh, attached on the wall then the steps on the on the sustainer on the support i used the same technique then some uh, uh, long pins i use pins i used the two block the curved section there that will disappear once I will paint everything and uh, I will need also to work on some uh, on some details as always this is just the beginning of these uh, of these uh, uh, roads there and the effect from the distance is adding walls and uh, a wall here a wall there a wall here and so I will have a space to add some buildings there here I will not be able to add any building because I need space this section here is the straight section to get access to this ramp but here in the middle I can have uh, buildings uh, it doesn't matter if the road is behind the, uh, the buildings I will occupy this space here and I will so occupy this space in forward there. Maybe I will add something back there to get the wall a little more towards towards the front like that. Uh, it is a matter of adding some uh, styrofoam behind in order to get this as a mini wall under it and to get this perfectly vertical wall here getting it perfectly vertical but I will do it uh, by for next time I think here too I have the wall that get, goes up 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 there so I don't think this is my worst uh, part uh, but it is always all improvable okay guys but i think this is a right solution so from here to there you have six centimeters then the other six centimeters here and getting a not a too steep um, road there uh, same thing for this level here up there six centimeters of the way and then a very uh, a very low uh, ascent to the to this point here to the upper level so this is less steep than this one because i have more space this is a little more steep but not that much simply because it is a, a curved line there a longer curve is longer than a straight going straight okay so let me know if uh, this road is good then some uh, fences all along here the external part and also here all along here some fences will needed will be needed and then otherwise but i'm far from that point uh, i will need it to no this is good like that uh, some space here for some vegetation something i don't know i, I don't know yet details is for a later time guys then nothing has changed here oh yes the stairs has crushed 
but it's simply a matter of getting thingy. And even I've uh, I went over with this wall here in order to check if the stairs work with the wall. And I think, and I think it do. Then, guys, the new house there. I will place it uh, here, and I don't know if you have seen it correctly. So let me place it like that. And okay, guys, all around. But I've already shown you this little beauty there. No, it's not a beauty, but it is the less important, the, the modest house of all I have made. But it is interesting in design, I think. Um, but all my design for me are interesting. I don't know for you. Maybe I will go a little back, a little front, but not too close to the stairs. Maybe here in this corner here with something happening in front here etc it is just to have a building in this corner and to help me getting a background some sort of background sorry this shouldn't be like that it should be maybe like that okay and then guys the looking of the Rebecca's house with the tree, etc. Let me have the camera fixed for you there for the view. So, guys, the tree is done, the house is done, the fences are almost done. I still need to go uh, behind there, uh, up behind there. But here I already placed the ivy as you have seen. And also here you have the ivy there. Maybe I will go a little closer to let you see the effect of the ivy. But this is the effect of the ivy, the iron, the wrought iron fences, the ivy getting up and over the fences, some rust on uh, the entry gate, etc. But not that much. And the tree, guys is like that with everything i added and also a little dogs there i will fix the the ending into the water uh, in the next couple of weeks and i also added another gate there on the side to get access to the docks no both for the moment but it is the winter season so no need for both for rebecca but i wanted to get uh, uh, some access to the to the lake and to the waterfall in to read during the the, the summer season uh, i don't know it, it's not that bad this tree uh, i will need some place to add uh, the hole um, and the glowing stuff but right now i don't know where i will try to find a solution then i will add some uh, grass all around rebecca's house and i don't know <laughs> for something that has been planted on the rush <laughs> in the uh, during the past three or four weeks uh, with your suggestions guys I don't think that is uh, too bad I should go <laughs> every season with uh, a section uh, a section um, done uh, following your suggestions or maybe all the layout I don't know I'm crazy but not that crazy it is a lot uh, a lot of work to do uh, going that way not having program and obviously I need to have the fences on the same level this one is uh, is to back there so I will need almost there but I will fix it uh, more precisely in the next weeks uh, when I will decide what I will have behind Rebecca's house. So here I haven't done anything more here. 
pam pam. What else, guys? What else? Uh, sincerely, nothing more, guys. I don't think I have forgot something. And that's all for part 9 of the 2024 season. And uh, see you for the outro, guys. What do you mean, call a taxi, Mac? Come on, we are in 1899. There is no taxi, and with what do we want to call it? There is no phone, too. So wise, so intelligent, and so stupid man sometimes. Now, there is stairs, but there is also roads to get access to the plaza, to the ballroom palace. I don't think it is too bad to have both in common. Thank you for the suggestions. And I forgot to tell you, nine centimeters wide. Yes, it is space consuming, but I, I can accommodate some buildings there, even on the front. And uh, I will do that. And then Rebecca's house has get a little further with the accomplishing of everything. That tree, I don't think it is too bad. My first time doing that completely from zero technique, uh, modeling, uh, painting and the flocking. And guys, that um, Spanish company, the spray that has the spray glue, the um, permanent spray glue, top notch guys, fantastic product, even the flock edge, and also using some uh, spices, some mix of spices, cooking spices to get the foliage done. It is another good idea, I think, come on. It is, I know that maybe where you live, it is not so common and not so cheap to find uh, cooking spices, but in Italy you can find them everywhere at a very low price and they come in different color uh, light green dark green it depends on the type of uh, uh, spicy and it is a religion in italy cooking so everywhere you can find spice oh, also in france <laughs> i needed to specify that otherwise my other half of the family will kill me and then the ivy Yes, it is a good addition. Thank you, Rebecca, for the suggestion. Uh, but I don't think I will add ivy on the sides, left and right, because uh, uh, it is uh, wasting ivy. But maybe I will do in a later time. Right now, I'm not convinced. But in front, yes. And that product also is top-notch to simulate ivy. The fence is there. It is getting there. Also, the, the mini dock there. Uh, last minute decision, I modeled it uh, uh, Thursday night and then I completed it yesterday evening. What else? The, the house, the second house, the second blue roofed house. It is a modest house, I know, but it is supposed to be like that, as I already told you. Uh, in every village there is a modest house, there is a poor house, there is a, some shack and there are mansions. Not like Lemax is uh, doing from the beginning where everything is perfect, everything is rich. Uh, but up to you to judge if it is a good house, it is the, the modest one, I repeat, then will come some very crazy houses and also a very elegant one, big elegant one, but it is for uh, next uh, weeks. Uh, what else guys? I've started the two teamed uh, section and uh, the second one will take me ages to finish, but that uh, crazy experiment, uh, maybe you haven't understood where I wanted to go with that crazy experiment, it is done intentionally like, like that and then oh, i forgot the, the yes back you are right you are not the only stupid guy here i'm stupid too sorry guys um forgive me i forgot to uh, take on the scene 
uh, the prop you have seen me uh, assembling and I will not name it. My mistake, I hate the, these moments, uh, but I promise it will be there for part uh, 10. Uh, but uh, you may have understood the, 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 what it will be, but the final result, mm -mm -mm, we, you, will not, uh, you will not guess it. What else, guys? I don't know. Right now, I'm embarrassed because I forgot. Yes, Mac, don't shout. I know you are not the only... Oof. It, is, uh, it is obsessing sometimes. Please. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and give big thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Thank you for bearing my awful English. And see you for part 10. But only if you really want. As always, bye guys.